Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten's Halloween Special. Before we get started, what are we drinking? Fittingly, we are drinking Mad Mad Mars in Oktoberfest. All right, perfect for the time. Today we're going to bring to you 15 of some of our favorite zombie movies that aren't the obvious Romero movies, yeah. right? Uh, where everybody <laughs> knows Night, Dawn, yeah. Day. We're also not mentioning uh, other ones like The Evil Dead. You can argue Evil Dead is not a zombie movie because it's more, they're possessed. Number 15 on our list is 2009's Dead Snow, a Nazi zombie movie. And it's uh, actually like a lot of fun. It starts off really serious, but then it kind of takes a comedic turn but not in a horrible way, you know, not in a bad way, not in an over-top way. I, you know, I was laughing in a good way. A fun homage to movies like Evil Dead, except this time it's in the snow. <laughs> so if you're gonna run out of the cabin, you're gonna freeze to death. <laughs> Number 14 on our list, 1979's Zombie. We had done a full episode of this one, uh, click the link above. Italy's answer to... Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. There's an isolated island, Matul Island. Scientist is trying to cure the disease. Zombies end up waking up on the island. It's probably one of the best Italian zombie movies but by far. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Number 13 on our list is 28 Days Later. This movie is probably one of the better mainstream zombie movies. It made running zombies kind of famous. Mm -hmm. Even though there were running zombies before this movie, this one kind of really brought it to the forefront. It's legitimately creepy. And how quickly it spreads, mm -hmm. like rabies, right? Number 12 on our list, 1980's Nightmare City. This one is another Italian flick. Really poorly dubbed, mind you. <laughs> yeah, but it's a lot of fun though, right? There are running zombies in this, actually. And, and they wield weapons. Like, they're yeah. like stabbing, slashing zombies. <laughs> right out of the gate, the shit yeah. hits the fence. Man, right? There's yeah. like no time to catch your breath. They suck blood though, rather than eating flesh it seems. Yeah. Anyway. So they're kind of like vampire zombies in a way. <laughs> and there is a cool twist at the end yeah. too. Number 11 on our list is Let Sleeping Corpses Lie from 1974. It's centered around a hospital. What's reviving corpses is like this insecticide. They're like using like radar and beams and shit to yeah. like kill bugs, but that ends up reviving corpses. There's a lot of cool things about it, a lot of redeeming things about it. The pacing is a tad off, I think, but all in all, it's a, it's a pretty fun movie. 1989's Dead Pit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this movie is probably most famously known for the VHS cover that had that 3D. I used to have it yeah. and I gave it away a long time ago. Now I'm regretting that. The acting isn't the best in it. It, it, no. it. Mostly from the lead female, it's pretty piss poor. But besides that, it's a really fun movie. I really enjoy it. It, it looks cool. I love the colors and, mm -hmm. and the shots and all the lighting and stuff is, is very good. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a one cool shot that actually reminds me a lot of like Romero movies where the, it's backlit and you yeah. see the whole crowd of zombies yeah. like their arms and shit. Yeah. It looks so awesome and it takes place in like a mental hospital so yeah. you also have all the, the crazy people too yeah. walking around. The movie so. starts off with a ah! <laughs> <It> was crazy. <laughs> ah! The guy trashing his room. <laughs> yeah. So if you want some you know late 80s camp fun uh, check out Dead Pit. Number nine on our list, uh, this one is three of them actually, and this one is Last Man on Earth, The Omega Man, and I Am Legend. All the same story, all based <laughs> off the same book. Yeah, but interestingly enough, all different takes, right? Yeah. Last Man on Earth has Vincent Price, the master in it, and this one is a tad more to the to the Romero zombie, right? Yeah. They're they're like they surround his house and they're yeah. kind of uh, boarding up the house. Yeah. Omega Man was made next. That has Charlton Heston in it, of course. So that scene is all sped up. <laughs> <laughs> they're like mutants. Yeah, they're like mute. I don't know. It's it's weird because they they speak and everything, and they they get together and they have like these weird gatherings and <laughs> right. <laughs> it's yeah. It's a weird movie. They're kind of like. Zombie slash mutant slash sort of normal people <laughs> do at the same time. Yeah, it's, <laughs> but it's a fun movie and you know it's super 70s. You get to see Charlton Heston get with the young yeah. woman with the big afro. and The apocalypse, how does she get her hair into an afro like that? Like, <laughs> I don't that's, know. That's number one priority, you know. Afro, then surviving. <laughs> and Charlton Heston's all old yeah, too at this course, point. Yeah. <laughs> Can you dig it, baby? Yeah. <laughs> he gets 
on to some <laughs> young guy in a mask or yeah. something? <laughs> like, that wig? Then, of course, there's the I Am Legend, which came out with Will Smith, which I really enjoyed besides the really bad CGI of, of the zombies. It didn't spoil the movie, but it took it down a big notch. Yeah. I loved the atmosphere, I loved the way the movie played out. Yeah. Also the character development of just him yeah. <laughs> was really yeah. good. And the end with the stakes, you know, when time's running out. Number eight on our list is Night of the Comet. This has to be the most 80s movie I've ever seen in my life. They do a very good job of yeah. it too, yeah. right? It's There's a little bit of camp. It's super enjoyable. Fun movie with a lot of fun yeah. characters. You know, it doesn't take itself too seriously, but you know, you shouldn't. The sky is always red and everything. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. that. Mutant slash zombies. They're actually pretty creepy. Number seven on our list, this one's a comedy, uh, Dead Alive, 1992. Regular moviegoers who are not into horror, you know, they all know who Peter Jackson is, of <laughs> course, Lord of the Rings. A lot of people don't know that he directed this massively gory, blood-splattered <laughs> zombie comedy <laughs> right. in 1992. At that point, I would yeah. say probably the goriest zombie movie, really. The ending, the amount of blood, <laughs> it, it's just well, insane. Take a lawnmower yeah. and add, like, decaying flesh <laughs> yeah. and everything to it, right? What do you think is going to happen? Yeah. The comedy's really well done, yeah. too, right? It rides the line between stupid yeah. and smart. And over-the-top characters, too. Yeah, like, every right. character in this is super over the top except for the main character is like ultra lame right. yeah. <laughs> number six on our list is night of the creeps which we have covered click the link above if you want to see our full review on that one this one kind of pays a little homage to the old 50s movies, right? Yeah. The old 50s monster movies. Even with the flashbacks and the black and white flashbacks. Aliens are involved in this, right? Yeah. And they kind of release a canister, lands on Earth, and it starts to, you know, turn people into like... Zombies. Mindless, yeah, yeah, yeah. mindless idiots. Production on this movie is great. Super 80s, but it's fun and it's funny. And it has, you know, Tom Atkins in it. Oh, so fuck. How can you go wrong? The unforgettable classic line. Ladies, got good news and bad news. <laughs> the good news, your dates are here. Bad news is, they're, they're dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> Number five on our list here. Now this one is not your typical zombie movie that we all know of. This one is a voodoo zombie movie. 1988 Serpent and the Rainbow. This one Wes Craven did. It's it, one of his better movies. Yeah, I was just going to say one of his better movies. Yeah. <laughs> a corporation that's trying to get a hold of a zombie drug, so they go to Haiti to get it. Probably the only movie on this list which is based on a true story. Right. You know, vaguely I might add, but it is based on this guy who was seen roaming around on the streets after they knew he was dead. Mm -hmm. the, the voodoo mafia. Give them a drug that fakes their death and they get buried alive, basically. Oh. And that's one of the coolest things about this movie is like that they do that. In yeah. this. It deals with the whole voodoo aspect, but it also deals with the real life corrupt government. Yeah. And you don't want to fuck with them. And if you do, these guys are into voodoo, so... <laughs> <Right>? yeah. <laughs> yeah. They can control you from yeah. a distance yeah. and all that. Number four on our list is one of the newer movies we'll be mentioning, and that's 2016's Train to Busan. I'll admit, I put this movie off for a long time because I'm always skeptical of new movies, yeah. especially new zombie movies because it's such a trend. Really, I was really super impressed with. You know, the character building is so good in it. Pacing, it's just you're always, like, intrigued and always paying attention and entertain. One of the good things that I like about this movie is the, the train. Yeah. Because they managed to use the train effectively for the movie, right? So they have the cars that block off the, the, the zombies yeah. from the, you know, from the, the humans. Yeah. The train is pretty deadly here yeah. and it's pretty dangerous, yet that's salvation yeah. as opposed to like out in the open, right? Yeah. Number three on our list. Dead and Buried, 1981. This one we did a full review, click the link above. This one deserves to be on the list just for so many reasons. And the fact that it's a zombie movie really gets overlooked because mm -hmm. it, it is, you know, there's reanimated dead corpses. It's technically a zombie movie, but it's not your typical, it's your horde of undead people surrounding a house. The story, the score, everything is sort of hauntingly beautiful about yeah. it, right? The effects in this movie are just 
outstanding. There's that scene with the needle. Oh, yeah. oh that guy. <laughs> you just see his teeth because yeah. he's all burned up. Yeah. And just <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> Next one on our list is 1972's Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things. This is like a really, really underrated zombie film. It's, we did a full review on this one as well. Kind of bridges the gap between like the Night of the Living Dead style yep. zombie movie and Evil Dead style. It's so low budget too, right? So low budget. But it kind of doesn't feel like it. Yeah. Like it's this the setting, it just takes place in a graveyard yeah. kind of thing with yeah. this one house, right? Yeah. But they managed to draw so much out of yeah. what they had. Funny movie, it's funny and it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's not that scary, but I really like the way the zombies look. You can watch a movie like this and see how much love and effort was put into it on, yeah. on, on a low budget and really appreciate. Oh, these guys pulled it off. It's got a, a main character, a villain, that you just love to hate. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, with that book. Yeah that kind of raises everything up, yeah. right? So it's, it's supposed to be a joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it ends up really working, you know? <laughs> well, how, when does that ever happen, yeah. right? <laughs> Number one, top spot on our list, deservedly so. This one is 1985's Return of the Living Dead. Our favorite zombie movie of all time, Come or at on. least depending on what day it is and how I'm feeling, it, it's either the best or tied at the best with Dawn of the Dead. Right, yeah. But it's and a completely different movie than Dawn of the Dead. Where do you start with this oh, movie? Oh, this movie just is almost non-stop mayhem from start to finish. It's got the perfect amount of comedy yeah. and, and fun and action and gore and characters that well you'll never forget lines in the movie that you'll never forget you know moments yeah. that you'll never forget like the split dog everyone remembers the split dog <laughs> oh shit yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with the crotch yeah, yeah. <laughs> everyone remembers you open the door and the cadaver comes out oh <laughs> Yeah, fuck, like every scene is so poignant. Let's not forget the score. You know, a lot of times when movies use contemporary music, it doesn't go very well. Or it dates it. Yeah, yeah. but with this movie, for some reason, it's it's timeless. Yeah. The only song written for the movie is the opening credits, yeah. right? And everything else is just from bands. And it's gotta be the most perfectly picked songs that were already recorded by somebody else, put into a movie, it matches every scene so well. It's right. just the most perfectly picked soundtrack ever. <laughs> yeah. The actors themselves put a lot of themselves into it. That cremation scene, yeah. that was James Karen's idea. Yeah, yeah. It's, you can, you you can see the love and passion that was put into this movie by everybody involved. You can right. tell everybody was so invested in it. The movie's timeless. Absolutely it is. timeless. It is timeless. Even though it reeks of the 80s, and it's punk rock and big hair. It, it is timeless. Yeah, things about this movie that should date it is what makes it cool. And what makes what it makes... special. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And we could talk forever about Return of the Living Dead. Like we can just hit record and talk for two hours. So that's it, that's our top 15 non-Romero zombie movies. And I'm sure we've missed a gazillion. Uh... But, but that's just our personal opinion. We're reading the list and we just realized, ah, we didn't put Reanimator on here. Right. Oh well, you, <laughs> you can't win them all. And just a couple of honorable mentions, more TV. Um, the, the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. Yeah. Uh, the zombie one yeah. is like fucking... Classic. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Everyone knows that one. Everyone knows... <laughs> Who's the <a> zombie? <laughs> <laughs> he killed the zombie Flanders. <laughs> Barney with that arm. Yeah. <laughs> Barney, not you too. I'm not a zombie Homer, but hey, when in Rome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Avengers episode called The Living Dead. Man, for being TV, obviously the Avengers, they had wicked sets. This is better than some movies even back then. So check those out. And until next time, keep drinking.